Hello everyone, this is Darren with Madcap Toys. Glad to see you again. Sorry that we missed uh, putting out an episode the last couple of days. It's been a busy weekend, which we're very happy about that. We had some really good sales as far as I'm concerned. We shipped out this morning. This is Monday. Uh, we shipped out um, at least 16 items, maybe a couple more. Uh, we sort of lost count because we got busy and we just started adding a few things here and there to make sure items went out on time or before time because we like people to get their stuff as fast as possible. Our average sales, I feel, have been down. 16 sounds good, but that's nothing for a weekend. Usually that's a daily volume, not a weekly vol or weekend volume. So you can tell how the cells are not doing as well. But I'm going to turn you on over to Kathy here. She's got our numbers for today and she's going to tell you about how much uh, we sold and to who and where. Okay. Hey guys, it is Kathy from Madcap Toys. We're back in the toy barn. I hope you guys had a fantastic Mother's Day weekend. Um, we actually did do some good. Now, when we didn't uh, record last week, you know, at least 25, 30 items have slipped through the cracks. Um, like, it's, like Darren had mentioned, we were very, very busy. And so we had to kind of make do with what we had and had to kind of push those through because they had some due dates there. But we are back in action. We do have 10 items that we did sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. But before I begin really quick, and I won't take too long, um, we did have a viewer ask a question directly to me, and I wanted to make that answer back to that viewer. Uh, the viewer said, is it okay to list seasonal items right now when the holiday is nowhere near close, or should I leave it in my death pile until the time gets closer? And my answer is absolutely not. Um, even if that holiday is 11 months or more away, list the item. Because guess what? Surprisingly, especially for us, Madcap Toys, in the last six months, especially in the last month, uh, we have been selling Halloween items, Christmas items, and in this recording, you're going to see a Thanksgiving item that sold. So never believe that if you have six to 11 months away from that holiday seasonal item you're listing, that it's just going to stay, you know, in the uh, reselling universe, selling universe. Uh, people are buying items um, even if they're, it's several months out. So again, I've been selling Halloween items. I've sold a couple Christmas items. And in this recording, I sold a Thanksgiving item. So definitely list that stuff go list your death pile guys and always be sourcing as well right right abs right. always be sourcing in the reseller world um you can never have enough so just keep on keeping on so in the very beginning out of our 10 items we sold one on poshmark last night and we got this from one of our pallet boxes our dollar general amazon macy's mix this is the lang 500 pieces Christmas tree puzzle and it's going out to 4-H Andrea for $11 plus shipping to boot. So I, I just realized this is a seasonal item. This is Christmas, right? Yes, it is. That it's a is Christmas. So yes, I sold Christmas on this as well as Thanksgiving. But yes, uh, this is going to Andrea for $11 plus shipping to boot. Thank you, Andrea, so much. Very, very beautiful and very nice. All right, then on to Macari. We did have several Macari sales Last week, like I said, uh, time slipped away. A lot of uh, events coming and going, so we uh, weren't really able to record. But this one here from Makari is the Voltron Legendary Lion Attack. It is going to Mallory for $26 plus shipping to boot. Thank you so much, Mallory. This is one of the many uh, Voltron Legendary Defender figures we still have. Uh, we have, I believe, a little bit of the die cast left. Just check it out in our eBay store, Mercari listings. Our links are in the description below this video. But thank you so much, Mallory, for that. And then we had a slew, a slew of eBay sales here. So we're going from the top to the bottom. We got them laid out perfectly here. This came out from the shed. It is the 2011 Star Wars Han Solo 3 and 3 fourths inch. It is going out to George for $7.18 plus shipping to boot. Thank you, George, for that. And then in our Hot Wheels section, we have the 2011 Hot Wheels Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. And it's going out to Richard for $5.38 plus 
Shipping to boot. Thank you, Richard, for that. And going from our wrestling tote, still have a lot of uh, wrestlers Darren has listed, but not only just uh, listed, he has been listing. So uh, be on the lookout. And this is one of the newer ones that he listed, I believe, just about a couple weeks ago. Right, Darren? Uh, yes, I did. And then I listed a few <clears throat> last the last few days. Yeah, this is one of them because he was right on top in the wrestling tote. This is the 2011 WWE The Big Show. It's a 7-inch figure, and it is going out to KT for $12.98 plus shipping to boot. So thank you, Katie, for that. And then I had to kind of climb for this one. Darren had it on Star Wars Shelf 1. Even we designated Star Wars Shelf 3. Sometimes, you know, when you get newer things in, we kind of switch things around a little bit. But uh, this is the 1997 Star Wars The Power of the Force Cantina Showdown. And this is going out to 97 Speedster for $17.98 plus shipping to boot. So this is a real nice one. I did mention that the guns uh, that should have been in the hands of the two figures, uh, you know how it is if it's a nearly 30-year-old toy. The bands, if you could even see, the bands are kind of broken uh, through time, weathering, so the guns kind of got loose in the box, but I did show that in the listing description. So that's going out to 97 speeder, Speedster. And then we sold a coin this this uh, this last recording here. Um, it is the 1906O Silver Barber Quarter Average Circulated. It's going out to Paul for $16.98 plus shipping to boot. Thank you, Paul, for that. Very, very nice. And again, I always try to make sure that you are getting the coin that you uh, been on. So if you have, you know, other 1906 O's, we try to make sure that you get the one that you've seen in the photo. All right. And then not only did we sell toys, figures, coins, we also sold a comic. So into our GI Joe comic stash that we have, it's the 1991 Marvel Comics GI Joe number 111. It's going to out to Daniel for nine dollars and 88 cents plus shipping to boot so thank you daniel really 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 nice comic there and i think I believe it's you know what over 30 years old almost 40 years old already all right and this is the one that i was talking about guys i just barely listed this i think a couple days ago this is the recycle paper greetings thanksgiving card set it's got eight cards eight envelopes and it's going out to William for $4 plus shipping to boot. So very good. Uh, I'd say usually this runs about retail around $5.99. We didn't pay that, of course. We got this from a pallet, a big, large, high count Halloween slash seasonal fall Thanksgiving slash pallet. And uh, it was in here in mint, not torn at all, sealed in plastic. And uh, yeah, um, very, very nice. And so it's going out to William there. So thank you so much. And lastly, we're still, uh, as we've been mentioning a lot of times, cleaning out the hoarding can, getting them ready to move. But this somehow got uh, sold on our site. Uh, this is for, uh, the Hoarding Kings. It's the Capital Plastic Proof Dime Coin Holder. And it is going out, and I believe the years are 1968 to 2000. Um, and it's going out to Zachary for $40 plus shipping to boot. So uh, Darren and Jordan went to a local coin uh, wholesale gotcha. company. and he owned coins. And the guy has bunches of these holders and things laying around. I gave them a super good deal in bulk of a lot of these holders um, and just different small little things here and there. So they got a good deal. So uh, this is going out to Zachary. Thank you, Zachary, there. So we have the 10 items. Um, like I said, all was going pretty well. We have been struggling like other folks uh, up and down with the sales on eBay. We know that there's been issues. They're trying to do a lot of restructuring in different areas. So we just keep holding on, we keep listing, we keep we keep growing our items, we keep sourcing, we don't stop. Um, we're putting on our seasonal, we don't stop. And uh, we continue, we're, I think we're gonna begin to maybe doing a little sourcing this weekend, depending on weather or any other things that we have to do. Um, so we are working on that as we go. So also Darren, I think, is looking into and planning on trying to restructure the barn a little bit. Um, we have made some good successful holes in our inventory so that's with, all thanks to them 
and all thanks to you. So um, the Hoarding King has also been moving out. He's got, like I said, almost about 45 more items and then he will be officially out. So we're trying to do some restructuring so we can uh, make it efficient and we may even have to do some SKU uh, changes. There are just a yeah, few. Definitely. So that way we can find your items, uh, you buyers out there, faster, quicker, easier and get those items on their way to you. I don't have anything else to say. Do you have anything no, else, not, Aaron? No, not, not today. I, not I'm today. He's a quiet sales, He's a know. quiet guy today, guys. Thinking. He's thinking. <laughs> He's thinking. So I'm going to wrap it up. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. Make those comments, guys. We enjoy your feedback. We live on that. So do that for us. Also, look to the look to the right there in the lower right-hand corner. There's a subscribe button. If you haven't done it already, you got to subscribe to the Mad Cat Toys family. We want you to be a part of our family and hit that bell for all notifications. Each and every time we upload content, you'll be the first to know. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye, everyone. Appreciate you.